Exoskeletons like this are starting to pop up a lot in manufacturing. Lifting heavy boxes, doing drill presses. For example, if I do a squat, the exoskeleton would actually hold me up. This system would definitely remove some strain off of your, your joints. We want to make sure that the exoskeleton fits properly. Your mind may be thinking, oh, this is super simple, but long term, what are the effects? Part of that is being able to track how does the body and the exoskeleton move together. So Mike, if you can turn around, do we want to track a point here? Do we want to track a point here? And then see how does it move and how does the exoskeleton itself move? Anyone that uses the exoskeleton should be able to um, assess this kind of information and understand what's happening to your body with it. Yeah, let's see how many squats I can do with it. <laughs> We've been working in collaboration with the National Institute of Standards and Technology and um, they seem to like the work that we're doing and so they offered me an internship over the summer. I really get to know the students um, and they're basically working on projects that graduate students work on. So this is a project called Marionette. We're trying to build a physical representation of this project. Here we have a project where we're trying to design and build um, our own hand. Our goal is to teach this hand to play rock, paper, scissors. They get to experiment with the latest technology. They get to think about some of the, the most amazing algorithms that are coming about and we get to have a conversation.